Alright, good day mga matibay. So our topic today is all about the nominal moment of the beam. Recently, we saw the flexural analysis. We computed the, um, the stresses of the beam given a certain amount of moment. So this time, with a certain section and the amount of reinforcing bars so what will be the capacity of our beam so that's our next topic so we will determine the nominal moment of the beam or its capacity all right so okay don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel share it to your friends and you just comment below what other topics you want me to make a tutorial for you okay so let's proceed our example will be Determine the nominal moment, the nominal or theoretical ultimate moment strength of the beam for the section that is shown in the figure. If Fy is 60,000 PSI and F prime C is 3,000 PSI. So that is our section there. So in our solution, we have to draw this diagram that is a diagram that represents the direction of your forces that is acting on the section right so we know that um, at this portion so maybe at this portion so let's say that this is the A Okay, so that portion there is being compressed and the compression force is given at the middle of this, that is the compression force. All right, and then for our bars, of course, the one that is acting on our bars is obviously the tension, the tensile force, all right? And it is also given that the distance between the compression force and the tension force would have to be this one, D minus A over two. You always remember that, okay? So that's the first thing that we have to do. We have to draw this diagram, all right? So, and next to that, we have to compute the tensile and the compressive force, all right? So, the tension is given by the formula area of the steel multiplied by the Fy. So, the area of the steel is 3 inches squared, while our Fy is given as 60,000 PSI, but we want to make it kips. So, we just have to divide 60,000 by 1,000, so we will get 60 kips per inch squared. So, multiplying 3 by 60, we get 180 kips. So, that is our tensile force. Okay? So, for the compression, let us see this uh, diagram first. So, the area that is being compressed, let's say this is the area being compressed here with this distributed load here, that is actually like a pressure there, all right? So, if this is the compressed area, that means that the compression is just the 0.85 F prime C multiplied by this area that is being compressed to make a one concentrated load for the compression. So this is V right here. That is the base of our, of our section. And obviously this height is A, all right? So therefore 0.85 F prime C times AB. That is our compression force. But if your section is not actually a square, you just have to make it like 0.85 and then F prime C multiplied by the area. And that area is the area that is compressed, all right? So nothing to worry, that is just the area that is being compressed. So in this section, that area that is compressed is D and A. We don't know the value of A yet. We don't know the area that is being compressed. We just know the value of our B, all right? Because B is already given in the section. But we don't know which height until which 
portion is being compressed. So that means that our A is still missing, all right? So now, next to that, we have to equate, we have to make an equilibrium between our tension force and the compression force. So 180 kips is equal to 35.7A. So this is for our compression. That is 0 0.85 multiplied by 3 and the unknown is A and 14 for our base. So we have 35.7A. So 180 divided by, by 35.7, we get 5.04. That means that the value of our A is 5.04, all right? So next, we, since we already have that, then we already know the distance between the compression and the tension. And what is this? That is our moment arm. And for solving the moment, all that we need is actually a force times the distance or the moment arm. And obviously, the tension and the compression, we believe that they are equal. So the area or the force is so we can already solve that one. Now, what about the D? Having A, we will be able to solve our D. Then we can solve our moment arm as 21 inches minus 5.04 divided by 2 so that distance or the, that moment arm is actually 18.48 therefore our nominal moment is 180 kips so that is our tension force but obviously the tension force is equal to our compression force since we make it an equilibrium so 180 kips multiplied by that distance and that will be our nominal moment. So that is 3,326.4 inches kips or we can say that it is 277.2 feet kips. So pretty much it's very it's quite easy right? So all you have to do is find the value of your A by just equating the compression and the tension and by that you can get the moment arm and using that moment arm you can already solve the nominal moment okay so that is how we solve for our nominal moment so in our next video we will try to solve a nominal moment with an irregular beam all right so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what other topics you want me to make a tutorial Okay.